Yo, 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 it's about life. It's your boy Shane, a.k.a. Black Duplicate, a.k.a. Mega Man, a.k.a. Crypto Dragon, a.k.a. Art Boy. You already know what it is. Here we go. It's health day. It's health day, as you see over there. Health day. So we're going we gonna to dive into it. We're going to be talking about vitamin D and the benefits of vitamin D and how deficient we are in vitamin D, especially for my brown people out there. So we got to take this shit real serious and get on our vitamin D tip, you dig? So here we go. We're going to start with part one right here. Uh, this guy has some pretty interesting insight. Uh, I did not get my reasonings for vitamin D from this guy. It's just a video I stumbled upon on my TikTok. And I was like, hey, you know what? I kind of like the information. It's kind of dope. I'll see what everybody thinks about it. Put it on the podcast and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So he's talking about, is it safe to take 10,000 IU? I use a vitamin D three a day. Now I take fifteen thousand a day. Me personally, I take fifteen thousand. I use a vitamin D a day. I've been doing it for going on two months now. Before I was taking five thousand. Uh, yeah, five thousand. Now I, I tripled it to fifteen thousand. Because I realized I was heavily vitamin D deficient and that needs to be fixed. And ever since I have fixed it, my mind has opened up to many other possibilities and wonders. So, here we go. Let's get on. This is part one. Then we're going to talk about part two and then we'll go over a little discussion about it later. So here we go. One thing I want to talk about is the duration of how long to take vitamin D as well as the dosage. There's a lot of confusion. Most people are taking between 600 IUs to 1,000 IUs, sometimes 2,000 IUs, and they think that that's enough. One thing you need to realize is that about 75% of the population on planet Earth are deficient in vitamin D. And vitamin D is that's, so important. In fact, that's it's facts. the that's most fact important that fat cycle yourself. vitamin, especially for the immune system. Based yep. on some pretty credible studies, Whoa. which I'm gonna list down below, and I only listed three. I'm going to give you quite a few of them. In the first study, uh, the group took 1,000 to 2,000 IUs of vitamin D once to twice per week for one month and did not increase their vitamin D levels at all. Second study uh, <laughs> well, took 1,000 to 2,000 IUs and it took four months to elevate their vitamin D. Four months to elevate your vitamin D. Right. Let's 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 rewind that real quick. I want to make sure y'all heard that. For vitamin D. Oh, I think it's about right here. Uh, it took a thousand to two thousand IUs, and it took four months to el. Four months with what he say? It was a thousand. He said a thousand. It uh, took a thousand to two thousand IUs, and it took four months to elevate their vitamin D. Four months to elevate taking what they tell you to take, which is. Uh, it depends. Some some of the bottles say five thousand, but they're taking a thousand to two thousand. It took four months to even slightly raise it, slightly raise it. And hold on, real quick. This is his content. This is his uh, his, his TikTok. Go subscribe to his shit. Go follow his shit. Go look at his content. He got some pretty interesting content. Figured I'll, I'll 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 dissect this and go into it myself. I'm not a damn doctor. I don't know. I, I think he is. I think he is actually a doctor. You know what I'm saying? So he got some pretty interesting inside information. I'm just some guy out here that does research and does self-experimentation upon myself. I don't experiment on others. I experiment on myself and see what the hell happens. Because that's the only way you're going to find the answers that you truly need. But let's get into part two real quick. This is part two. Unfortunately, the video isn't bigger. So bear with me and watch part two. And in the third study, it took three months to achieve just a normal level of vitamin D by taking 1,600 IUs of vitamin D. So the question is, how can you be that deficient if you're taking so much vitamin D? The first thing to know is that it takes a lot longer than you think to fix a vitamin D deficiency. It could take months. The second thing to know is that there are various things that prevent the absorption of vitamin D. One is your gut. If your gut has damage, gut you're health, not going to be able second to absorb brain. vitamin D too well. Also, your age greatly influences your ability to absorb vitamin D, not just from dietary sources, but from the sun. The color of your skin also influences your ability to absorb vitamin D. In other words, if the skin is darker, it could take three times as much 
uh, sun to penetrate the skin. And then there's a topic of how much fat you have. The more subcutaneous fat you have in your body, that. the less you're going to absorb vitamin D. Once again, that's a TikTok. So yeah. So let's go over this. Let's go over this real quick. All right. Let's go over this real quick. It's health day. So with that being said, he said that an individual was taking about 1,600 IUs of vitamin D and it took three to four months to even slightly increase it, right? Uh, it, it depends upon your fat levels. It depends upon your skin complexion and a couple in your gut, your gut health as well. So you have to first of all fix your gut health, which means eat the way your genetics need you to eat. And I'm telling you once again, fast, please, fast. It's just very important for our people. We need to fast. This is what our people does. We have been fasting since the beginning of time. It has seemed to be something that has gone forgotten. Fast. It's very important. So either way. So yeah. So that would fix your gut health. And then your skin complexion means you need to take 10 times more than the average individual. Hence the reason why I take 15,000 because I am brown. I know I look a little light with these lightings in here, but I'm moderately dark, but I am a I, I am considered a light skinned brown person. Either way, I take 1500. So if you're darker than me, you need to take a lot of damn vitamin D. Right? You need to take a lot of damn vitamin D, and especially being here in America, which is where I'm located, the sun is not built here for us. We are from a place of hotter sun time. Africa, you get 10 times more sun over there. So therefore, your body is able to get a natural abundance of sun. Here in America, you are not going to get the abundance of sun that you need. Hear it again. Here in America, my colored people, you are not going to get the amount of sun that you really need. So therefore, you have no choice but to supplement or go back home, which is what I'm trying to do, right? So if you ain't trying to go back home to Africa, then you better get a motherfucking shit ton of vitamin D while it's available. While it's available. At some point in time, Maybe it won't be available. So I would say I should just go and stock up and get you a lot of shit done of vitamin D and start now so you can fix your damn deficiency in about a year or two and then you can start hitting your true potential with your immune system and fighting off all these damn foreign diseases and don't have to worry your freaking ass off about you already get it, duh. You see what I mean? So you don't have to worry about none of that bullshit. So yeah, let's do that, right? That's number one. And then what else he say? You're fat. Once again, fasting will fix your fat supply. It will burn off all that fat naturally, especially if you eat the way your ancestors were eating. Everybody's genetics are different. Not everybody, but I mean, ethnicities. Your, your, your race eat, ate different depending on their environment. Africans weren't eating like friggin' Europeans, man. And Europeans weren't eating like Asians. So therefore, you shouldn't be doing that shit. You gotta eat like your people ate, man, to meet your prime, with at least with your food. My opinion, take it how you wanna take it. I'm just telling you what, it, what I feel it should be done. I'm trying to help you so we can help each other. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, so, so yeah, that, that, that's health day. Uh, I hope, I hope y'all got some decent insight out of this. Like I said, I don't like making my videos too, too, too long. I'm just trying to t touch, touch a couple people real quick and get them to understand. Uh, and, and, and hopefully somebody out here will, will listen and go take some damn vitamin D and start start doing things right away. One more thing. One more thing. It's my peoples. My peoples. My peoples. I think I have it. I think I have it. Let me see. Downloads. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It's a picture. I don't know. Is this it? No, 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 no. That ain't it. Sure, some of y'all might have saw that. Is it this? Yeah, I think it's this. Yeah, it should be this. Yes, yes, perfect, 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 perfect. This right here. Let me X this out real quick. I'm glad I popped this back into my head real quick. All right, 
All right, can y'all see this? If you can't, let us zoom in. Okay, okay. Read, pause and read this. I'm gonna read to you anyway. Throw away your deodorants and replace them with natural aluminum-free deodorants. In 2012 study, 19, 99% of breast cancer samples analyzed contained, there you go, a common, there you go, ingredient found in, there you go. These toxic chemicals are being absorbed into your skin. Whoa. Now let's go check out one more thing real quick. Hopefully Google opens right up so I can hit y'all with the Google search. Okay, let's see. Why do we have armpits? Armpits, all right? Let's see what comes up. What are the warmest areas of your body, the armpit or axilla performs in most important functions as home to more than 20 lymph nodes called the axillary lymph nodes. The, the axillary lymph nodes oversee the reg regulation and filtration of lymphs through the upper limbs and back. So I know some of y'all like, what the heck is axillary lymph nodes? So what you do is you copy and paste that joint. Get rid of this and just paste that joint right on here. Paste. Boom. All right. Lymphic system and axillary nodes. Axillary nodes are small clumps of immune cells that act as filters for the lymphatic system. They also store white blood cells that help fight illnesses. The lymph nodes is an underarm. Is an underarm. In the lymph nodes in the underarm are called auxiliary lymph nodes. If breast cancer spreads, this is the first place it's likely to go. Did you just hear that? Your armpits is like one of the most powerful places for your damn immune cells. Dude! And you're putting chemicals all up in that shit every day. Because you want to smell good. Make your own, man. Make your own. Let's see this. Let's see this. Hold on. How to make natural, natural deodorant. Let's see. Mix baking soda and arrowroot. Mash in coconut oil until blended. Add essential oils if desired. Place the mixture in an empty glass jar. To use, just warm a small amount between your fingers until it turns into liquid. Apply to your pits. Baking soda, arrowroot, coconut oil, and essential oil of your choosing. Something that you like the smell of. And you got deodorant. That's all you need. Instead of putting all these chemicals in that shit. Stop with the chemicals. That's easy. Look at that. Baking soda, arrowroot, coconut oil, and essential oil. And just warm it between your fingers like this. Whoop, apply. You're good to go. Matter of fact, matter of fact, hold on. Pause one second. I got two seconds. I'm going to show you mine. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm back. I'm back. This is my own homemade deodorant. This is my own homemade deodorant right here. See this? Deodorant. I made this myself. This is what I use daily. I've made my own body wash. I've made my own hair wash. I made my own toothpaste. It's very important that you take care of your, your, your health and your body if you want to awaken this. You can't use this if this is destroyed. This and this are one. They need each other. It's the reason why your brain connects to your body through a spinal cord. And what else do you have? You have a whole entire neural system that connects your brain to your body and they all function together. See, your brain needs to be able to get the proper nutrients and minerals it needs. That's why I created a body so the body can go out there and get the minerals to feed it. That's how intelligent your brain is, right? It's so, it's so intelligent that there's, a, there's an interesting, interesting study. You could look this up yourself. People with, with schizophrenia, right, or multiple personality syndromes, for example, there's been a man that he had a personality. Uh, one of his personalities was diabetic. The other was not. 
Did you hear that? Let me say it again. He had two. He had multiple personalities. One of his personalities had was diabetic. The others were not. For sure. He was switching to that personality. He'd become diabetic. He would need insulin shots and shit. But when he switched out into a different personality, he no longer was diabetic. His brain literally believed that he was somebody else. Believed it so much that his whole entire physicality life changed everything. That's crazy. That shows you how powerful your brain is if you just believe. If you just believe, man. If you just believe your body and your brain can do anything. Anything. I ask everybody I know this question. I'm going to ask all y'all that are watching this video. If I took a thousand people to the tallest building in the world. A thousand people. And I started throwing them off. Would anyone be able to fly? Depending on your answer will dictate your belief system. I'm not going to give you the answer. You answer it yourself. Right? You answer it yourself. But I love y'all. That's health day. I didn't want to go this long, but a lot of stuff came up. It just happens sometimes. And I, 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 I kind of I kind of get got information in my brain. I got to get it out. You know, and I, I love y'all a lot and I, I really want to help y'all. So I want to show you my deodorant and show you some other information that I pulled out from a content just to get to y'all, to help y'all out, to help y'all become better and greater as much as possible. I am working on making some some, some more stuff. I'm, I'm working on my Patreon to make a Patreon. And I'm also working on trying to build a really, really solid uh, community with some classes and some stuff to help get your body and get your mind right and get your finances right and get everything about yourself right. Right, so I'm trying to build this team. It's gonna happen. It's just a matter of time. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, follow this video. Uh, I, I need y'all to like it as much as possible, and I need y'all to share it. I need y'all's help. You know what I'm saying? So we can go out there, and we can reach the people we need to reach. There's people out there that need our help, and they need my help. And I can't reach them without y'all. We're a team. If y'all like and share the video, that 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 puts me into the algorithm and allows me to be shown to more people. You get what I'm saying? I don't give a hell about the likes and views and shit like that. I just, I need it to reach other people. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to reach other people. If I reach other people, that brings more opportunities to the podcast. It brings more opportunities to you. Right? It's all about us as a team. So I love y'all. Share, like, and follow. I'll see y'all next time. Health day about life. Yes.